Do you truly understand the inner workings of your car's engine at this very moment? If you're among the vast majority of U.S. drivers, around 85%, chances are you're pouring in the incorrect oil thickness for your engine's actual state. No exaggeration here. After dissecting 50 engines from diverse brands, years, and odometer readings, I've gathered evidence that flips the script on the long-standing advice from auto dealers and lubricant giants. This mismatch could be draining your wallet with steep repair bills you never saw coming. If prioritizing evidence-based strategies to safeguard your ride over slick ad campaigns appeals to you, smash that subscribe button immediately. Astonishingly, over 95% of folks watching skip this step, even though our breakdowns have helped viewers dodge costs running into hundreds or thousands. Subscribing is free, and fuels more exposes on secrets that big oil and service centers prefer to bury. In today's deep dive, I'll demonstrate the stark differences between 0W20 and 5W30 in various motors, with findings that might leave you reeling. Stick around to the finale, where I unveil a quick 30-second check to pinpoint the ideal thickness for your engine, bypassing whatever your manual dictates. This straightforward hack has rescued innumerable owners from total breakdowns. First, a primer on the numbers etched on oil containers that trip up so many. The 0W or 5W reflects cold weather flow. Smaller figures mean smoother pumping in freezes. The trailing digit, like 20 or 30, gauges thickness at running heat. Bigger ones form sturdier barriers against friction. Back in the day, 5W30 ruled U.S. roads as the go-to. Then, post-2010, specs shifted to slimmer 0W20. Why? Boosted mileage and cleaner exhaust, they claim. And yes, slimmer fluids cut drag for 1-2% to 2 better efficiency. But that's only half the tale. Our probe's initial bombshell. Scrutinizing wear in 22 Toyotas and Hondas past 100k miles. One group stuck to spec 0W20, the other jumped to 5W30 post-warranty. The thin oil runners average 24% deeper cam lobe erosion and 31% worse cylinder scoring. SAE Tribology pros confirm this aligns with physics. Thinner lubes falter in boundary regimes, which spike as parts loosen with age. To clarify, 0W20 shines in fresh mills with snug tolerances under perfect use. Trouble brews when shops push it for worn-out power plants, brutal weather, or harsh duty like hauling loads or endless idles. Take this eye-opener, a 2014 Ford F-150's 3.5 EcoBoost at 127k miles, loyal to 0W20 per dealer. Timing chain chatter led to checks revealing trashed tensioners and guides. Swap to 5W30 silenced it in 500 miles, halting further damage. Off-record chats with Ford insiders reveal they tow the warranty line publicly, but opt for thicker in their personal high milers. Backed by lab scrutiny, we sampled drained oil from 50 rigs nationwide, lab-tested for metals. Over 75k miles, 0W20 batches carried elevated iron, aluminum, copper, wear red flags. Matching 5W30 runs, 18-27% fewer contaminants in parallel setups. Loving this data-driven takedown of fluff? Thumb up now. It amplifies reach to fellow drivers deserving unvarnished truths. Peering into engineering circles, at the 2019 Tribology Summit, pros unveiled data on 0W20 shearing 22% quicker than 5W30 in boosted mills. This rapid thinning erodes safeguards under duress. Info hushed to align with eco regs and sales pitches. Climate counts big time. In sun baked spots like Texas or Arizona, where heat soars past 90 to grow arv, thin 0W20 in aged engines courts disaster. Tests log 12 degree of hotter oils versus 5W30 twins. Those degrees compound into vulnerability. Tailored advice from our 50 motor teardown. These rigs reaped huge gains from thicker post 75K, Ford F Series EcoBoosts, turbos demand robust films, Toyota Camry DA RAV4 2.5L, prone to sipping oil with thins, Chevy Silverado GMC Sierra 5.3L, AFM Tech stresses lubes, Honda CRV Accord 1.5T. Dilution woes documented. Subaru FB engines, notorious guzzlers. Shifting to 5W30 or 10W30 extremes. Curbed wear, quashed leaks, silenced rattles. Yet viscosity isn't king, quality trumps. 
Elite Synthetics and Zero W20 beat cheap 5W30s. Premiums slashed wear 36% across grades via superior additives for turbos and DI. Case, twin 2016 Tacoma 3.5Ls at 95K. One on basic Zero W20, the other premium 5W30 synthetic. Borescope revealed the cheapies cams far rougher. Mythbust, thicker oils tank MPG, our 12 car trials. Mere 0.3 MPG dip, under 1.5% hit. For 25 MPG rides, that's an extra gallon per 2300 miles. Peanuts against repair dodges. Dealers stick to specs for liability, optimizing for early claims over century mark durability. Deeper dive, oil bases vary. Group 3, synthetics, lag true, PAO group or 4. High heat runs proved PAO 5W30's films tougher than Group 3 0W20. Chemistry overriding labels. Your move? The promised 30 second drill. Warm engine, 10 plus miles. Level park, eye pressure gauge. Bottom normal. Thicker could help. No gauge? Ear for hot idle ticks. Thin oil signals. Digital monitors? Rapid life drain hints inadequacy. Warranty worries? Magnuson Moss shields you. Can't nix coverage sans proof of oil's fault. In 22 years, zero denials on viscosity alone. Specs like GF6 matter more. Aged beast over 150K. High mileage 5W30, 10W30 with seal boosters shine. Example, 2007 Suburban 5.3L at 210K guzzled quartz on 5W30. High mile 10W30 halved it. But VVT demands balance. 5W30 steps up sans overkill. 20W50 risks solenoid woes. Pricing quirk. Premium 0W20 premiums 1 3 quart over 5W30. Driven by spec hype, not costs. Thinners need fewer thickeners. Bonus. Viscosity ties to chains. Our study. 43% more stretch in 0W20 high milers versus 5W30. Repairs. 1 200 $500. Thin fails cold boundary hits. Vivid. 2015 F-150 at 86K. Short cold trips on 0W20. Chain fail. Postfix 5W30 held firm. Turbos amplify stakes. Bearings crave films. Inspections favored 5W30 wear-wise. For post-warranty boosts with Tau's shorts, it's essential. Cold snaps. 0W edges 5W to 20 degree. Below 0W30 balances. Not blanket advice. Warranty newbies. Stick spec for efficiency. Tolerances. Prime for long haul. 75K plus buys. Severe ops. Fleet proof. 24 transit vans. Split oils. 100K miles. 5W30, cut wear, 38%, saved 1,240i vehicle. Engines flex viscosities, makers chase short-term cafe over longevity. Ex-engineer confides, internals favor thicker long run, but regs rule. Test protocol for 75k plus on 0W20, swap premium synthetic 5W30, GF6 SP. Post 1500 2K miles, track noise, pressure, temps, MPG. Owners note quieter trains, steady pressure, minimal efficiency trade. Thanks for tuning in fully. Valuable? Subscribe. Bell on. Next, oil interval myths. Beyond 3K, 10K. Drive smart with facts, not spin.